Hey guys, welcome back. This is Nod Lambers of Invoked 101, and today we're taking a look at my new Shadal Invoked combo deck, which is kind of weird. Um, I got inspired to build this off of one of these. Uh, I was on Duel Amino one day and I saw a uh, Shadal deck, and I took a little bit of inspiration from that one and kind of changed up some stuff about it, uh, pl added some stuff that I had, and added some stuff that, um, and replaced some things that I didn't have. So. But overall, this is pretty cool. It's like an Invoke Shadal deck. It's all Shadals uh, for the most part. Uh, but it's also like this weird combo deck, and it really does only. There's a it does do like Shadal plays, but it's mainly for doing like this one big combo that ends with like Kaliga and Winda and Saryuja. It's actually pretty awesome. Anyways, with that said, um, that, before we get started, down in the description, there's a link to our Teespring, our Kofi, our Patreon, and our Discord. So if you feel like checking out any of those. Uh, those links are all down in the description. Uh, and if you'd like to get yourself one of these awesome Invoked 101 mats, you can message us on Instagram at Invoked 101 and we can uh, chat about that. But setting the extra deck and the spells and traps off to the side, we will get uh, started with the main deck monsters. So zooming in, the first monsters we have, of course, are the Shadal guys, and the first ones we're playing are Shadal Beast. Uh, when sent to Graveyard off of a card effect, it gets to draw a card, and then it also has a flip effect, which is that you draw two cards and discard one. So it's also one of the bigger Shadals uh, with 2200. Uh, next up is uh, Hedgehog, which is a, all of them are flip effect monsters, which is kind of weird, but uh, that's like the gimmick of Shadals. Anyways. Uh, his flip effect is that you can add a Shadal spell or trap from your deck to your hand, but uh, that's not really important. His send to grave effect is that uh, you can add a Shadal monster from your deck to your hand, which is way more useful than his uh, flip effect. Then we have uh, Skolmata, which actually has a decent flip effect, um, which is that it gets to destroy a monster your opponent controls. And then if it's sent to the graveyard, uh, you can send a Shadal card from your deck to the graveyard, except Skolmata, which is actually pretty cool. Um, that's one of the better ones. Uh, and then we have Falco, who on a uh, flip lets you special summon a Shadal monster from your graveyard in face down defense. But then his, uh, if he's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon him in face down defense, which is pretty awesome. Uh, that's it for the Shadal stuff. Uh, you know, I believe it's seven Shadals, two, four, six, yeah, seven. Uh, and I would like to play Dragon, I just don't have one. Uh, after that, we have the Invoke stuff containing three Alistair, of course, uh, and if you guys didn't see my Invoke deck, I have a Invoked Mech Knight deck I just put up. I'll try to put an iCard right here, and uh, I go in depth with Alistair and talk about him and all that stuff. Uh, two Invocation, because it is a regular fusion spell normally as well, so it's basically just polymerization if you draw it. Uh, then we also have two Magical Meltdown to search Alistair, and this deck doesn't play need any other field spells, so uh, might as well play Alistair's. Uh, then we have the plant engine. We're playing three lone fire, not only for fire targets, but also to summon out uh, plant, uh, which is a fusion plant right here. And you discard a card and special summon the this guy. And then this guy on special summon off of plant gets to search uh, brilliant fusion, uh, which brilliant fusion gives us an extra normal summon by summoning out Seraphonite. And the way we summon Seraphonite is Garnet and Trick Clown, which lets us combo. Trick Clown is also a light target, which is awesome. So. Uh, you can do stuff with that. Yeah, so that's our plant engine, brilliant fusion engine, whatever you want to call it. Uh, next up we have extenders uh, in the form of Destrudo and Black Dragon Collapse Serpent with White Dragon Wyvern Burster and uh, this guy, the uh, Glow Bulb. Glow Bulb is our level one tuner for the deck. I also would uh, recommend playing Jet Synchro. I just couldn't find my Jet Synchro, so. Um, so yeah, Glow Up Bulb is who I got, and there's never been a time where like I didn't see Glow Up Bulb and I needed to, which is kind of weird, uh, when I was like doing test hands with this, so. So yeah, there we go. A Distrudo is also a tuner that can go into like level sevens and stuff, but it's mainly just for comboing and extending. So that's that. Uh, that's it for the main deck monsters and the few spells that I had. Moving into the other spells, we have, of course, Triple Shadal Fusion. This can be a go second deck, and if you do opt to go second, Shadal Fusion's uh, super invaluable. It's also awesome to send and search and grab back and recycle. It's all that good stuff. We have Double L Shadal Fusion, which is the quick play fusion spell. Kind of cool. I'm playing double Super Poly in the deck. Uh, you don't have to play two Super Poly. I just happen to be playing two. Because I think two is good in this deck because Shadals are not only super poly targets, but so is Alistair, so it seems like a no-brainer. Uh, one Magicalized Fusion. So if you don't know what Magicalized Fusion does, it's kind of a Dragon's Mirror, but for spellcasters. Uh, usually people use this to summon Quintet Magician. We're using it to summon Winda. And I would like a second copy. I just 
didn't have a second one. I actually had to buy this one because turns out I don't own any of these. I think it comes out of a special edition because it was like an import card from a promo book or like a magazine in Japan. So I think we got it in a special edition, which is probably why I don't have any. That already came out, of, no, it couldn't have come out of dual power or else it would have been ultra. But yeah, so that's why that. Uh, three called by because this is a glass cannon deck. Uh, of course, you need to protect the castle with the with the called bys. So, and the last card we play is one World Legacy Succession. Uh, this is our Monster Reborn Light card, and the reason we play this is because we are playing the uh, Glow Bulb, which means we're playing Ib. So, oh, so we're doing degenerate things here. <laughs> uh, we're. Uh, anyways, moving into the extra deck, uh, we of course are playing Kaliga because this is a mainly dark deck and Kaliga is really good and basically what we're trying to do is set up a super heavy stun board using Kaliga and Winda. Uh, so this says, they, Winda says they can't special summon and she can't be destroyed by card effects. This says they can only attack with one monster and they can only activate one monster effect per turn. So one monster effect and no special summoning is pretty brutal, uh, but yeah, you always have to summon Kaliga first and then summon Winda and then you're golden. Uh, after that, we have uh, Invoke Magellanica because there are Earths in this deck, so we can make him. And then one Mechaba and one Elysium. This is our only invoked package stuff that we're playing because uh, these are really the only ones we can summon. Uh, you can, uh, this is basically, basically just to turn, uh, if you have to, you can Super Poly Caligo with this and make a uh, another card. You can also invoke this out by using an extra deck monster and a, a dead invoked card. After that, we play two Construct uh, for the Shadal stuff. Uh, it's kind of difficult to make, but it does get Trick Clown in the graveyard instantly if you need it there. Uh, so there's that. We also have an Aloil. This one. We have this one. The water one. The water Shadal that's kind of expensive. Um, I actually picked this up super recently. I got this in a trade, which is awesome. It says... Uh, Neither player can special summon uh, monsters from the hand or graveyard using spell or trap effects. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target a Shadal spell or trap in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So I think all the Shadal fusions get to pick up a Shadal spell or trap out of the graveyard. Because I know Construct does it, and I'm pretty sure Winda does it too, so I just assume that all of them do it. Yeah, Anoidalus is uh, different, and it is something that we can make using Ib, so that's the main reason I'm playing it. Uh, after that, we also have Wendigo. Uh, I'm not super fond of Wendigo because it's not super great. Uh, it says, must be fusion summoned first. During either player's turn, you can target one monster you control. This turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle with an opponent's uh, special summon monster. So that's uh, that's all it really does. And then when it dies, it gets to pick up all Spell and Trap. So it's not super great, but it is uh, playable enough. And then after that, we have one Shadal Winda. Winda is really good. She is... Uh, like I said, she was the card that we pair with Kaliga. She's the other dark one, and she needs a Shadal and a dark monster, which, and because she's a spellcaster, we can summon her off of that magical ice fusion. So, and she prevents special summoning, which is like the best thing ever. Then we also have uh, Seraphonite as our last fusion monster, and this is what gives us a extra normal summon. We summon this, and uh, that's it. You can also hard make this every now, like if you open invoc Invocation and Trick Clown and or a Light and uh, Garnet, you can hard make this and give it its uh, 2300 stats, which I've done a couple times. Uh, moving into our one synchro, we have Ib, World Legacy Justicar, or World Chalice Justicar, sorry. And she searches uh, World Legacy Succession. I've also thought about uh, seeing if there's like a actual World Chalice tuner. I don't think there is. I don't think any of them are actually tuners. Uh, so she doesn't really have a, a function in the deck when she's sent to Graveyard, although that would be pretty cool to do. Then we of course have Invoker of Madness for the fusion effect. And Crowley, because there's a bunch of spellcasters in this deck. Then we also have uh, Phoenix. Uh, just for uh, being Phoenix and negating stuff. And the last card we play is one Saryuja Skull Dread. Um, this is the main piece of the deck. This is the main guy you make because it is a brilliant fusion deck. So mainly you make this because uh, your main thing that you need to do is make this and then you will summon uh, Kaliga second right here. And then uh, you can summon back, and then you can summon a window off of the Magical Eyes Fusion right here, or off of Shadal Fusion, whichever card that you happen to have, and depending on the turn. Uh, basically, the and the only thing you really need to do is have a uh, a way to get to Brilliant Fusion, and then like a, a Shadal Fusion spell or Magical Eyes Fusion, and then um, a a Alistair or a way to get to Alistair. Those are the only three things. Those are, so like a brilliant resolve, brilliant fusion, then do uh, make the combo for Saryuja, and then go into and then uh, normal Alistair make or 
extra normal the Alistair to get this and then uh, use Magical Eyes or a, if you go second and they have an extra deck monster, you can just Shadal Fusion this out. Uh, probably in attack position, not defense mode like this guy, because then he'll be uh, he'll have 2100 defense, which makes him a little better, and this will have 2500 attack. So uh, they'll be kind of like they'll not be super beefy, but they'll be big enough that like no normal summon, like no normal summon pop will be able to get over these, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it. That, that's it for the deck. It's uh, I could like other than. There's no real combos to the deck per se, uh, because the deck doesn't like it. It does one combo, but that combo is such a common one currently that it's it's really like straightforward. If you just resolve Brilliant Fusion, that's realistically what it comes down to: is resolve Brilliant Fusion and proceed to to do plays. Uh, and with that said, that's that's the deck. It's it's super simple. And it's kind of fun. It's really janky, though. Not gonna lie, it is super, super janky. But I've enjoyed playing it. I've enjoyed uh, messing around with it. Although, um, definitely gonna revamp this in. I think it's next month when the uh, when the Shadal Structure Deck comes out. And uh, Gara of Benton Ten's been wanting to do some sealed only stuff. And uh, come April, and I am thinking about picking up three Shadal few three Shadal decks and just stashing them away up until um, that time. So, anyways, uh, with that said, thank you guys for watching. And if you feel like supporting the channel, if you like our content, down in the description there is a link to our Discord, our Patreon, our Teespring, and our Kofi. So, if you feel like supporting us, that's where to do it. And with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.